Hello Primary 4, how are you today? I am Misar, I'm teaching science and today we're still talking about plant adaptation. In this video, we're gonna talk about mangrove tree, water lily, palm tree, pine tree, acacia tree, and barber fig. Those different type of plants have different type of habitat and also have different type of structural adaptation. Let's know together what are their habitat and structural adaptation. Our first plant is the mangrove tree. Mangrove tree. Mangrove tree. This is the shape of mangrove tree. As you can see here, mangrove tree lives in water. Lives in water, which is salt water. So the habitat or the home of mangrove tree is salt water. So mangrove tree lives in salt water. How about the structural adaptation of mangrove tree? It has long and strong root, as you can see. Can you see the roots? They are long and strong roots. Why? To help the mangrove tree to resist the waves of salt water. The waves of the water of the salt water. When the water moves and it has waves, this roots make it easy to resist these waves. So mangrove tree has long and strong roots to help mangrove tree to resist the waves of salt water super the second one that we have here water lily water lily this is the shape of water lily primary four the habitat of water lily or the home of water lily is wet land wet land so water lily lives in wet land how about the structural adaptation of water lily as you can see here water lily has wide leaves has wide leaves can you see the wide leaves of water lily while water lily has wide leaves to float on water surface it helps the water lily to flow on the water surface what else primary for this wild leaves help water lily to absorb large amount of sunlight so the wild leaves of water lily help the water lily to float on the water surface as you can see it is on the surface of the water right so it help the water lily to float on the surface of the water and also help the water lily to absorb or take large amount of sunlight this is the structural adaptation of water lily how about the third one the palm tree this is the palm tree do you know the palm tree palm tree lives in desert super so the habitat or the home of palm tree is desert how about the structural adaptation primary four it has thick roots has thick roots and small leaves small leaves as you can see so it has thick roots and small leaves why that helps a palm tree also to resist the strong wind we have in the mangrove tree strong roots that help mangrove tree to resist the water waves right here the roots of the thick roots of palm tree help the tree to resist the strong wind the strong wind okay so this is the structural adaptation of palm tree so palm tree has thick roots and has huh, small leaves super both them help palm tree to resist the strong wind how about the piney tree this is the shape of piney tree primary four Piney tree, as you know, lives in snow as it uses for Christmas, right? So, piney tree lives in or it's a home or it's a habitat is snow. How about the structural adaptation of piney tree? As you can see here, the shape of piney tree is triangular, right? So, it has triangular shape. It has triangular shape. Piney tree has triangular shape. Also, it has short has short branches has short branches so piney tree has triangular shape and shorter branches why to allow the snow as you can see in the picture to allow the snow to slide easily over the tree to slide easily over the tree why that's make the branches don't break that's make the branches don't break what else the primary for 
It has needle shaped leaves. Has needle shaped leaves. Why? To prevent the pine tree from losing water. So, pine tree has needle shaped leaves. Why? To prevent the pine tree from losing water. What is the meaning of prevent? It makes the pine tree don't lose water. Pine trees don't lose water. So, pine tree has a triangular shape and it has short branches which allows the snow to slide easily over the tree without breaking its branches. Okay, and also it has needle shaped leaves. Why? To prevent the piney tree from losing water. This is the structural adaptation of piney tree. How about acacia tree primer for? We talked before about acacia tree. Do you remember? This is acacia tree lives in hmm? super savanna forest. So acacia tree lives in savanna forest in South Africa. How about the structural adaptation? Do you remember? Super. Its branches grow and gather together, as you can see here on the top of its trunk. This is the trunk of the acacia tree, and this is the branches of acacia tree. Acacia tree branches grow and gather together on the top of its trunk. Why? To prevent the animals from reaching the leaves, to prevent the animals from eating its leaves, right? So, this is the structural adaptation of acacia tree, that it's... Branches grow and gather on the top of its trunk. Why? To prevent animals from reaching the leaves on the top of those branches. This is the structural adaptation of acacia tree. Last one for today is barberry fig. This is barberry fig primary four, and this is the fig that you eat. This is the fig that you eat. This is the barberry fig. Can you guess with me? Where can you find barberry fig? super in desert so the habitat or the home of barber fig is desert so barber fig lives in desert how about the structural adaptation primer four how about the structural adaptation as you can see here in this picture there are spines we have here sharp spines right so barber fig has sharp spines why to prevent also the animals from eating its leaves and the fruits which are the figs as you can see this is the structural adaptation of barber fig that it has sharp spines to prevent animals from eating its leaves and from eating the fruit. This was our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Goodbye.